Hello everyone. Welcome to NPTEL course on groundwater hydrology and management. This is week 10, lecture two. In the past weeks, we have been looking at the importance of groundwater and the important properties that help us to understand groundwater. We are coming to a close of this lecture, wherein we are looking at the resources to collect data and map data for your study areas. Since this course is focused on India, I will only be showing the data sources for India regions. I will also show one remote sensing data, which is across the world you could use. But for now, we are going to look at the observation data. In the past, classes, we looked at the lithologs and the aquifer depth, aquifer type data. Now, in today's lecture, I would like to take you to the groundwater data. This is one of the most important data for groundwater hydrology, water management, resources, etc. And it is one of the most dynamic data because the aquifer type, the width, thickness, all these parameters, lithology <coughs> doesn't change. The water storing in and pumping changes, right? That is captured by this groundwater data. In India, while there are some private players that could monitor data for their benefits, like for example, industry or a housing agency that wants to monitor, most of the data is only monitored by the government agencies. There are two government agencies. One is the CGWB, which we have extensively looked at in this lecture series. CGWB stands for Central Groundwater Board. And they collect a lot of data. Almost 15,000 wells across India. We will look at that data in detail. Then we have the state data, which is in different names. So for example, in Tamil Nadu, it will be PWD, Public uh, Water Department or Public Works Department. In um, West Bengal, it is SWID, State Water uh, Information Director, right? Or there are other groundwater boards. Okay. We will look at some of them in data and why, why it's different from central groundwater board, etc. Most important details while looking at this data, please take note is station name. Every single data point has a name and a location attached to it. Okay. So the station name captures all this. Along with it, the station um, lat long is given in the text. I'll show you how to extract that image. Then quickly we can do a trend analysis. You don't have to download the data. Just looking at the data, you can get some analysis. Especially qualitatively, is it coming down? Is it going up? Is it stabilizing? How? There are long-term averages given by the WRIS website to help you understand these trends. For example, if I just have data, groundwater data, and it's coming down, is that good enough to understand for that state, the water level is coming down? No. If you have long-term data, like say 100 years or 50 years or, or 30 years, right now we have almost 30 years data, you could see that how does your observation, the lowering trend, compare with the 30 years? If, for example, your lowering trend is still above the average of the 30 years, okay, then you're okay. You have good groundwater. <coughs> and that is what we're going to see in some case studies today. And then finally, I'll show you how to download the data and then keep it for uh, working further using Excel uh, or other tabulated form uh, 
you can also use GIS and other, other uh, tables, maps to look at the data. So this is how it looks like. It has um, on one side, you have your um, layers and different options for the layers. Okay, you can also import your own data, which is kind of advanced and, and we don't want to um, spoil that right now. We'll just look at mostly the ground, ground, government data and the entire focus you can look at is a nation, a state, a district or a particular well. So you see how you can look at the entire groundwater for the whole country as one value. You can zoom into a particular state. You can zoom into a particular district which has a lot of villages. And you can also zoom into block or uh, the exact location of the well and look at these trends. So what do you see here is, uh, this is the actual seasonal groundwater information for October 2018 using state and central groundwater stations for India. Area focus is India. Let me uh, bring my pointer. So you can see the area focus is India and it says for October 2018 uh, using both the state and the groundwater board data, central groundwater board data, you could see that the RF actual level. Okay, so actual level is above or below. So this is your um, uh, current level. Right? The orange is your current level, whereas your long term average level is given here. Okay, so RF is your long term groundwater average. So on a long term average, it has been high but uh, for your actual current level it is low okay and then you have the last 10 years last year uh, you can also look at the last 10 years of data or the last year data so for example 2018 the last 10 years would be 2208 or you can also look at the last year data which is 2017 data so let me take you to the um, website where you can also show how to download the data I'm going to show you the website from the home screen, this screen. We uh, share that screen. So opening the uh, website. Yeah. So I hope you could see the uh, website, um, uh, which is uh, showing the India WRIS. What you could see here is some where I'm going to show you the uh, access to the groundwater data. So go to the water data, come down, and then go right in your mouse, come down water level behavior. I've taken a screenshot of this and put it in the PowerPoint. Please use it. Then go to groundwater level. Do not click anywhere. If you click, it might take you uh, stop somewhere or go back, you lose it. So just slowly come down, just hover, then move it to the right, move it to the bottom to water level, move it to the, see, I lost it. See, so you have to go very slowly, just on that water level and groundwater. I click groundwater and then this page comes up. You have to wait for a couple of uh, seconds. I'm showing it live so that 
uh, you don't worry that oh uh, when sir showed uh, i see the india map but why is it not coming for me see now the india map has come it does take time so all these lags are going to be captured in the video for the lecture uh, because i want you to understand that it does take time so don't worry about it's it, it, uh, the internet and connectivity issues are also there okay so when it comes straight this image comes where you have the uh, focus areas india okay and you have uh, i'll just go through each and every step for you so the whole of india is there and you have the <coughs> let's take this out and then say the current level the current level is 11.75 and the last 10 years is this is the last 10 years um, uh, rainfall so the rf is your rainfall level so you have good rainfall coming in july september uh, but we're just going to look at the last 10 years of groundwater okay so you could see that somewhere it's still um, your 2018 is okay because it is touching these lines and uh, but still somewhere it is going below so this is going below groundwater level overall it is below the groundwater level so 2018 was a rough year for groundwater we can say because it has gone below the green line the green line is the 10 year average let me take it out and then show you this and this is last year just 2017 even 2017 uh, the groundwater level was even lower so you can see it is coming down below the current level so 2018 is not as bad as 2017 but over the 20, 10 years it is bad okay so uh, maybe 2017 was bad and it has pulled down the water level something like that so this is the trend of groundwater level going from the ground how much deep you have to go to get the water level and you could see that it is on average for whole of india uh, nine meters <coughs> etc is this a good number to uh, uh, think about no because what is the point of taking whole india one level it is just for a uh, informative purpose but when you want to conserve water work on water you need to go to every particular location okay so let's start uh, when you come here sometimes if this does not show or it is not coming don't worry for example i'm going to close it see oh i don't know what where it went don't worry go to applications it will come up even if you close this arrow mark because you you didn't know what to press uh, all these other things would come okay rainfall reservoirs river points evapotranspiration all these we saw as part of your water budget but we want our groundwater so we just keep groundwater okay click groundwater it will come yeah <coughs> the first bifurcation of this data is do you want it as admin boundary which is administrative boundary or basin boundary administrative boundary means your states or districts those kind of things where administration is uh, occurring or basin is the watershed basin do you want it as a um, for example uh, the ganges the uh, brahmaputra the indus the kaveri basin like that so if you if you see slowly the black lines will come and that is your the blue lines is your um, boundaries and the black line is when you select one boundary it will come you have to be uh, slowly working on this because of the internet speed and the data transfer from the server it will be taking some time so you could see this i have clicked i'm going to click on this uh, and suddenly this will change to godavari because godavari is the basin i selected just randomly and you have the same 10 year average and everything changed now look at the numbers it has changed so for the last 10 years uh, still your groundwater level is okay okay uh, and then you could see all the other data. Okay, let's not get into the full data now. Let's first look at the left hand side. How do you communicate between? So I'm going to go back to the admin. There is a reason why I go back to the admin because you have the different central and state agencies. Okay, and that comes at a level. 
the other thing i wanted to show you is the coloring what does the coloring indicate if it is 0 to 2 meters below the ground the axis of water is there it is good it is blue color but if it is continually decreasing like 2.5 2 to 5 meters 5 to 10 then the color changes to red the color is picked very smartly because red means danger so right now you know where the dangerous locations are for groundwater it is along these regions where excessive pumping happens for agriculture purposes and some dom uh, domestic use industrial use is also there <coughs> but mostly it is the agriculture because agriculture uses a lot of groundwater then you have agencies the source of data as i said uh, each one uh, state government will have its own name so dwrid directorate of water resources inventory direct something like that they'll have uh, different different names in different different states i for sure know uh, uh, tamil nadu will be pwd okay uh, and surface water groundwater is also there uh, an agency uh, delhi surface water groundwater uh, all these agencies are there okay then you have your CGWB. CGWB is across India, whereas these are only at particular state levels. So if you say all agencies, all the data will come. Okay. So let's say CGWB. Okay. So now slightly the color changes, but again, as I said, for the whole of India, CGWB has the most amount of data. So the good data will be coming. Then, uh, okay, I'm just going to put it back to all agencies. So all data will be there. Then do you want it at what different level, time stamp, time step, time stamp or temporal resolution. So we say monthly, do we have monthly data? Do we have daily, yearly or season? Mostly we have seasonal data. Okay, we don't have uh, for groundwater uh, daily data. It's too expensive. Even monthly is not collected. CGWB collects four times a year. So it is mostly seasonal. Okay, so you can say seasonal. And which year you want, you can give a year. Okay, so let's say monthly. If you say monthly, then there will be gaps, but still you can pick a date. Only say monthly, you can pick a date. And let's say uh, you, if you click this calendar, you can see this calendar start date. Click the calendar, click the year then the different years will come then click again this arrow let's see how far we can go and see there's no a zero uh, no, a stop sign comes which means it tells don't go you cannot go further this is the last so 1993 is the first data point if you go here there's no data it doesn't sure turn into a finger so here it turns into a finger which means 1993 the data started and which month did it start december so December, I'm going to click and stop. I'll say, let's say 2022 Jan, they have data per March, April, they don't. Let's say Jan. So December 1993 to Jan 2022, I've put in the request and I'm going to see advanced filter, all stations or not. Yes, all stations or CGD, it will be asking manual, telemetry, et cetera. So what is the difference? Manual is when people put in the meter and take the data. Telemetry is an automated system where it collects data by itself and relays the data to the government agencies. It is a kind of a, um, a telemetry um, or through a remote sensing, it sends the data to the end user, which is the government agency. There is a modem or a SIM card, which is transmitting this data to the central server. I'm going to say all and submit. So hit submit, you'll find this block going up and down, up and down, up and down. Basically the coloring takes time, but your data has already populated. You could see all the data has already populated. The rainfall also comes in, but you can remove the rainfall because right now I'm just going to see the groundwater. See the coloring has finished. And there are some errors. This is a, a clear error which goes down very fast. It cannot jump from zero to uh, minus 160. So 160 meters down, it cannot go. So that is an error. So those who uh, in class I've taught that what are the groundwater data errors that you can get. This is one clear error, right? <coughs> Lively, I'm showing. 
but let's say uh, I'm going to see which month it is. It is August 2021. So let's remove that, which means I have to go before August 2021. I'm going to go Jan 2021. Submit. Now you could see a, a better uh, resolution uh, thing. You can see how beautifully the groundwater level is declining, right? It goes up and down, up and down, up and down, and then goes down. Why does it go up and down? Because in the summer, you pump, so groundwater goes down. And then after summer, you have rainfall, the groundwater goes up, down, up, down. Okay, so this up, down motion, if it is so this up down motion you see in groundwater if it is coming in the same average then it is fine okay but if the average is coming like this then you are facing a groundwater depletion for example up down up down so the average was around here which is okay but after 2007 you could see that it is going down this is the concern for groundwater because you are you are actually using more than the water which is recharging. Okay, so I would uh, I showed you how to uh, pick all agencies. Whole of India we are looking at. Okay, for whole of India this is uh, the trend, and I've told you how to select the timestamp which is monthly, uh, and also uh, where to start, how to start the timestamp which month, et cetera. Don't do daily. Daily, there's no data. Then you have to pick a date, which is actually extra work. But if you do monthly, at least you'll capture some seasonal. Because seasonal uh, means, for example, August is the uh, June, July, August is your peak month of rainfall. They want to collect data, August month. But suddenly, August, uh, if they didn't collect data, because was too much flood, they collected in September. Then what happens is you miss the data point. So that is why I'm saying use monthly. Monthly is fine. You can collect all the data. OK. Similarly to the previous uh, uh, lecture, I'm going to show you the different layers that exist. When you click the layers, the base layers will come. There is two base layers, the Bhuvan or the open street maps. Depending on your internet, the, the slowest and the most stable one would have already been selected. So here it's already selected, open street maps. I'm fine with it. If you zoom in, for example, I don't know this area. If you zoom in, sometimes you will see the background telling the name, the label. Okay, that, for that you can use it. Then you want the boundaries. Which boundaries you want? Do you want the? Uh, let's go to Maharashtra. There's state and district boundaries. If you uh, unclick this, then your district boundaries are coming. Okay, if you click this, then the state boundaries are also there. You want the basin sub basin boundaries is uh, you can put it in or take it out the India boundary for sure and the groundwater stations. So if you click this, the location of the groundwater station comes so beautifully you could see like, for example, this, uh, if you click it, it, this name will come here it's Aurangabad in Maharashtra and you could see the, the table also populates. Again, I'm, I'm going to take off the rainfall RF and you can see the groundwater is stable, this is more stable. It fluctuates up and down, but the net average is almost the same. Okay, slight decrease, but that's fine. Okay, but again, if you add all these layers into your visualization of the map, depending on your computer speed and your computer internet, you will find lag. So I'm going to uh, take it out. And this is the groundwater heat map, which is the color which is coming. So if I remove the color, you could see that the names of the different districts are coming Aurangabad, Jalgaon, etc. So uh, we do need the groundwater heat map. Let's keep it. But that is the one which takes a lot of time. Uh, you could you can if your computer is very slow, you could go to your layers, come down, take out the groundwater heat map. And this data will still be very quick. This data is very quick because it's just a number you give from two, it will populate the data and give it to you. Then you have the full extent. If you want the full uh, India coming in one button, you can click it, clear, compare, etc. Okay, so the compare is just between two data points. If you want to compare the stations, uh, you have to select one station, two station, and then do. Okay, so right now we, we are not going to do that because uh, all these uh, tools you could play 
and and um, um, take take a comparison. I want to show this map comparison where you can pick two different uh, um, years. Uh, it does take time depending on your internet, but I'm going to just show you for India. Okay, this is 1993 uh, to, to 2021. Uh, all the 20 years data is coming. So what is this used for? This is the information that comes on your groundwater books. What does it show? It show you. It shows you two distinct time periods: uh, 1993, 2001, 2021, something like that. And you will find the differences just by visualization. Here, right now, it will be the same because both the time periods are the same. You could actually change the month here or uh, you could change the data, okay? And then you could use this as a slider to show which one you want to uh, compare between the time periods. Okay. So I'm going to go to the full extent again, just one extent. Back. And I would like to show you one uh, state that I'm going to take. Okay. Sometimes if it doesn't let you do it, just go back, groundwater. It's not letting me go to the previous uh, view, it's fine. I'm just going to click the groundwater. It will going to take me to the initial water level data. So, because of the, so much data in this website, it might get, um, you know, sometimes stuck. So your and don't worry, your work is not stuck inside. Anyway, you need to download the data. That is why they let you visualize the data. And from the visualization, you can take the data out. So here it is. I've refreshed it. It has gone. The full data page has come. Now, I'm just going to select one uh, agency. So PCPCBCB is the Central Pollution Control Board that is also monitoring groundwater to understand the pollution, not the quantity alone, but the pollution. Okay, so that is why you see your CPCB here. So now let's say that I want to see the West Bengal. Okay, so automatically it should focus on West Bengal, but it doesn't. Uh, you could still use these uh, date ranges. So I'm going to say, let's say five years data. So now when I say submit, it brings it. So these are the stations by DWRID. Okay, so DWRID stations have populated and the trend for the full West Bengal has populated. In the next class, I will show you how to pinpoint one data and download the data, understand the data, and also most importantly, get the important location specific information from the data. I will see you in the next class. Uh, but just one more information I would like to give you is uh, read about these agencies. Okay, so the sm small um, um, short forms are given. Uh, it might be different what I've said also because it depends on where uh, the agency is kept. But all agencies is better. But let's say all agencies, uh, and then I'm going to select uh, all the agencies here uh, and uh, you will see all the data combined for India. I'm going to just do West Bengal. Okay, so West Bengal state, you can see this map. If it is getting slow, remove the heat map, only take the, the graph data, which is enough. I had to move my video because to show the, the readings. Okay, so don't worry about it. You can also close this legend, etc. So next week, when uh, next class, when we come, we will go back to this West Bengal uh, location and we'll pick some stations and look at how to understand the data 
what are the key statistics are given in the data and we will look at it for now we'll just say the average is seven meters 800 stations are monitored 2943 total number of stations are there okay for this data 800 are monitored and analyzed but total is around 3000 uh, stations so there is some gap some issues we will come back and understanding about this in the next class thank you